Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the shell scripting series. Uh, apologies for not uploading anything in the last two days, just extremely busy uh, and uh, yeah, it's time to get a move on with this series. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at for loops and again, you might be un you might know how important they are uh, for in, in shell scripting rather. Uh, now, of course, I did mention that we are going to be creating scripts. But there is one last piece of information that you need to know how to do or you need to know how to uh, how to write or script and that is the for loop and you'll soon see why. Now in the next video we'll get started with creating our uh, our network uh, sweeper or our ping sweeper and then also looking at uh, how to automate nmap scans, creating our own nmap automation scans uh, or scanner scripts for that matter and then we'll move along uh, on that tangent as I explain functions as well. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's get started. So uh, before we even get, uh, you know, we even get moving, let me, um, you know, create our shebang. So bin bash and we're ready to go. So I currently have um, nano opened here and that's the edit I'm going to be using as you guys requested. Let me just zoom that in so you guys can see what's going on. And don't, don't worry about uh, the other, uh, the other side of the terminal here. Uh, I'll explain why I have that in a second. So uh, when it comes down to loops, uh, or for this matter, the for loop, why is it important and why do we use it? Well, uh, we use loops to perform a certain uh, function or a task on a list of items, all right, as you would know. So, you know, with other programming languages, you have arrays, you know, arrays are essentially a list of items. So with the loop, we use it to perform uh, certain functions on a list of items. Now you can see why this is so important, why it's so handy. It's really handy because, uh, as I mentioned, when we'll be dealing with performing our own scans on huge networks, for example, this is where the whole idea of automation comes into play and how you can essentially create a script that can perform the same task, uh, a task that would that would have otherwise been repetitive on data that is changing. So, you know, for example, uh, a range of IP addresses. Um, so you get the idea. Now, the syntax for a loop uh, or the for loop for, uh, you know, for example, is extremely simple. And uh, with um, with scripting languages uh, and Python, they run in a very, very similar way. So uh, the syntax is we use the for, of course, and then after the for, we specify the variable name. Now, you can just specify a variable name here. So if I'm just going to give a very, very vague example here. And I'm going to use the name variable just so that we understand. We then use the in uh, with the in command. And then the in essentially means... Uh, this means we are selecting, we are running this variable in this uh, in this list, uh, and this will continue running until all the data in the list has been completed or has been executed, whatever condition you specify. All right, uh, for variable for the variable name in, and then in here is where you specify the list, and the list is uh, usually de denoted by uh, using the dollar sign again and opening up your brackets. And in here is where you can specify your list of data. So you can specify, you know, data like name. So I can say, you know, something like uh, Alexis. I know it's getting repetitive, but you can specify data like that. But I'll, I'll get to something really, really exciting. And uh, again, most of you want me to move fast. So I'll also, I'll, tr I'll try and cover that as well. So in here is where you specify your list and then you have your do. So essentially what you're saying for the, for the variable in the list, I want you to do the following. Then after this is where you have your commands and your whatever you wanted to execute. And once you are done, you type in done and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, quite simple, right? Well, uh, let's, uh, let's actually see what we can do with this. So, um, I just thought of a simple script that I can write up right now and hopefully it will explain to you uh, what exactly is going on? So let's say I wanted uh, to print out a list of names. Uh, you, I wanted to print out, print out uh, an entire list of names. Quite simple, right? Well, first of all, I, I need to create a list, uh, a, a TXT file that contains all these names. So I'll just create a nano. I'll use nano, and I'll just say names uh, .txt, and I'll hit enter. And let me just give the give this file some names. So Alexis, uh, John, uh, Tom. Uh, let's find some creative names here. Tom, uh, Hulk, I don't know what's coming in my mind right now. Apologies for this. It's uh, actually quite early in the morning. Uh, Hulk, uh, let's see, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, you guys must be thinking I'm, like I'm some, you know, some child or something. Well, 
Uh, I, that, that's probably the only thing that's coming in my head right now. Uh, let's see, uh, for those of you who watch the football match or the soccer match, whatever you want to call it, uh, Lucas, uh, uh, comment if you got the hint. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to save this. So control plus O, hit enter. And uh, yeah, we're done with that file. All right. And I'm currently in the same working folder, as you can see, desktop and scripts. Okay, so the same uh, for here, except this file is the loop dot shell file, and I have given it uh, the uh, I haven't I have given it the uh, the executable permissions. Okay, so let's create uh, this uh, this loop. So I'm going to say for, and my variable name is going to be names. You know, quite generic, quite simple. You probably would have guessed that. So for names in, and I'm going to specify my list now. Now, because I want to, I want uh, the, uh, the, I could have said to, uh, I could have actually gone through reading the actual list, but I want to show you something really cool. I'll use the cat command, which essentially displays and will read it out from there. This uh, uh, really increases the speed uh, of the script and the performance. You'll get to why this makes a big difference when you have like almost a thousand pieces of information or, uh, you know, a list that contains a thousand uh, a thousand entries, you know, uh, that's really when uh, optimization comes into play. Uh, but as I said, so for um, for names in and then the list, so we say the list name is called names.txt and we close that and we say we want to do the following. So in here, um, I would like to just print out something really stupid. So I'm going to say echo the names. Um, we're just going to say the names uh let's see the names are uh the names are um and uh we, we specify the uh the variable here so uh, i'm just going to say names and we close that and we are done so a uh, quite a simple script and again i know you guys are getting really really worked up saying i'm going to slow don't worry after this we are going to look at creating our first uh really useful uh script all right, so I'm going to hit Control plus O to save that. I, ho I hope it works the first time. Control X, and I'm just going to clear that up. And I already ran it, so apologies for that. Uh, and I'm going to run it right now. And uh, what was it called? Loops. There we are, loop.shell. And I'm going to hit Enter. And there you are. Uh, the names are Alexis, John, Tom, Hulk, Spider-Man, Lucas, whatever. Uh, and you basically get the idea. Now, where does this you know, where does this become really, really cool? Well, for example, I can just show you some, uh, I can, you know, give you a simple example. What if we wanted to run an Nmap scan for an entire network subnet and we wanted to automate it and we wanted to edit how the data is printed out to us. And also if we wanted to save the file, you know, we wanted to save the output to a TXT file. Uh, that's what we're going to be looking at in the next video. So I just really wanted to explain the for loop and hope you guys understand the syntax. It really is very simple. Um, to summarize, the syntax is for the variable name and in the list, and you can use the cat or you can use the cat or type, uh, but that again is dependent on what type of file you're reading from uh, and the list. And you can also specify the data uh, in here by you know using the quotation marks, which I don't recommend. And we're then saying do the following, and we just wanted to print out the names uh, that are going to be running through the loop uh, in with the following list, and we're done. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you found value in it. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section, on my social networks, and on my website. And I'll be sure to leave you a reply. Uh, that being said, that's going to be it for this video, guys. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.